It might be the final day of winter, but spring has already arrived and it could be no better for motor racing this weekend here at Winton Motor Raceway. Winton, good to go. Race one, round five of the car sales, TCR Australia Series. 10 second board has been given. We're good to go. Not so good to go. The Renaults are in pit lane with fuel pressure issues. We'll update you on that one as we get rolling away and racing at Winton. Andre Heimgartner in the Astra has made a great jump. Turn one awaits. It always causes some drama at Winton, but it's Heimgartner to the lead. Brown makes some contact in the background as they work their way through up the old pit straight. Down the inside, John Martin is going for second spot and got it. Awesome stuff. Look at the aggressiveness from Jason Bright as well. He's ideally placed here. Aaron Cameron on the outside. Tony Delberto moving through. Good start by Nathan Morecambe in the second of the Hyundais. Brown is dropping back here. Heimgarten has got Martin challenging. The Honda going a long way around the tree. If he can hang there, he's on the inside for the next corner. Bit of a bump. Nose is in the gap. Will hang on. Heimgartner out wide, right down the inside. This is a great first lap. Everyone was saying it was going to be a loose first lap. It's on here. Look at Jason Bright. Not the right spot, though, for the next one. The left-hander, but he's turned 10. Sliding a little bit loose for Martin on entry. He holds it from Heimgartner. Bright is right there. Brown trying to get those tyres up to temperature. He's starting to find some form now. Watch Will Brown. Heimgartner looking every which way. Brown pounces on Bright. The series leader's through to third place at turn 11. Look at the margin that Martin currently enjoys. It's 1.2 seconds. Brown to P2 now. Guys, it was a brake pedal issue for Chris Pithra. As you can see, they're retiring that car. Moff managed to get back out. Fuel pressure issue for him. Yeah, Emma, they've parked the James Moffat car uh, in the old pit lane here on the old pit straight. Look at Jason Bright now. Not in the right spot, though, to attack Andre Heimgartner as they come into turn one and two. Jason Bright right in the mix here, the 98 Bathurst champ. He's been down on form and some dramas that Greg documented with this car, but he's back in the fight this weekend. Uh, Will Brown having a good old look here. Down at turn 10, showing the nose on the Honda. And in fact, Heimgart has been shuffled back. Bright's got through to third. The Astra's been put back to P5 because O'Keefe has got through as well. It, and we've got a move for the lead. Brown all locked up. Martin tries to sneak back underneath him. Brown's in the not ideal. They come together, the pair of them. Brown off the track. Oh, that's interesting. That's really interesting. It got willing. Bright's going to get him. Second place will be on the line here. The task force VW is right there with him now. Through to second spot. So Brown has to defend from Dylan O'Keefe. That's the guy he needs to worry about. That's the guy that's the challenger for the series title this year. I mean, he made the good move to turn 11. That was a big trouble. Now Bright, through. Oh, driver here. I'm going to have a huge lose. Down a pen right corner, manages to get away with it. Loses a bunch of spots, but very easily could have been off the road. So uh, this is Martin slipping back. He's been off the road. Bright is through to the lead of the motor race. There is the beat up further down the road. So drama for Martin, and he's going to cost himself another spot here with Dylan O'Keefe. So if that contact has done something for that Civic Type R. Tony D'Alberto gets by his Honda stablemate, and coming through is young Aaron Cameron, who arrived here today on his green P plates and has gone <laughs> racing. Big drama turn one, off the road, one of the Alphas. It's Jordan Cox who goes on a wild, wild ride. It's Willing in this first race of the weekend. Do they all realise there's two more tomorrow? <laughs> Here's Martin. There's that left one I was talking about. It's Cactus. That's Let ruined his race. A former Bathurst A9X Tirana. Oh, oh Alexandra Whitley. Contact with the back of Leanne Tander. They were just outside the top 10. But this guy's been on it. Won the first race in Sydney. Has not been on the podium ever since. It's taken until the 13th race of the season. We said it might be unlucky for some. It's been lucky for others. Jason Bright, two corners to go at Winton Motor Raceway to reply against the young guns in the TCR Australia Series. Turn 11, then turn 12, and he's going to bring it home. A win for the Volkswagen Golf GTI under glorious blue skies at Winton. Two races to go tomorrow, but today it's about the 40 series points. And Jason Bright is a winner again in the car sales. TCR Australia Series, Cameron off the road on the second last corner, on the run to the last corner. He'll rejoin and get to the line.
But that's drama, and that's a spot gone because Nathan Morecambe grabs fifth place at the chequered flag. Go head to head on the run to turn one. Volkswagen Hyundai, away we go in race two of the weekend at Winton. And it's the series leader with a very good jump. But it's the pole man in the VW who's got it. One of the Renaults is off in the background. James Moffat hasn't even made it to the first corner. Interesting start. It looked as though Brown got away nicely, but in the second sort of phase of it, Brown, uh, uh, Bright really gripped up. And look at the start from Nathan Morecambe up into position three, the Hyundais. Both of them, second and third right now. Nice job. O'Keefe is out wide, not ideally positioned. Aaron Cameron gets the gain from that. And already the young gun from Toowoomba, Will Brown, is putting the pressure on Jason Bright as they make their way through the right hand onto the back straight. There's Martin responding down the inside of Jordan Cox. Looking left, looking right. Will Brown aggressive through the final few turns. Can't quite get it done. He'll be close to Bright as they come across the start finish line. Awesome stuff. Will Brown's talked about the fact that it takes maybe just a lap or two sometimes, but he's looking really sharp here. Does not want to let Jason Bright get out of sight, too far ahead of him. Nicely done through turns one and two. Bright looks a little ragged there, catches the VW goal. Oh, an opportunity for Brown. Under brakes, gets it done. New race leader. And now it's a Hyundai sandwich because Morecambe's in there in third. The teammates are really firing in. Aaron Cameron in the Melbourne Performance Centre Volkswagen. He's in the queue as well. Replay the start. And I want to see in the background, how does James Moffat end up? Ah, a little bit of a clip and contact. I think he rode over the rear wheel of Hamish Riveritz in the Holden Astra there by the looks of things, and it spat him straight off the road. As we take a look at this incident between Moore, oh, Moff gets up on two wheels as he makes contact with Riveritz. The onboard really telling there. From that Melbourne point? Performance Centre, and he's actually vulnerable here. John Martin's got a good run down the inside at turn three. So Ingalls dropped a couple of spots there back from where he was running. Heimgartner's got through in the Astra, and now Mark pounces as well. We go back to Heimgartner, Ingall, Dalberto. They're all fighting there. Ingall in position eight. Heimgartner is seventh. And look at that. Martin's drop back. John Martin, position number nine. So that's a good battle unfolding there, as we often see in TCR. Oh, we've got a drama here coming out of turn two. One of the Renaults, I think it's Chris Pither, has a major drama. We'll get a shot of it shortly, but uh, he's out of the car and has had a decent solid. Has that lost the back window? I reckon he might have made contact somewhere. Is the back, he's fuming too. Chris is fuming. Now, is there damage to the left front? No, it's Dylan O'Keefe. Dylan O'Keefe's got oh. drama. The Elf has been off the road at the exit turn four. Ingle and Heimgartner in it. Yep, this is what we needed to pick up. The Elf has got an issue. Now, they've had turbo pipe issues with this car earlier in the weekend. I'm not sure if this has got anything to do with it, but uh, I picked him up out of our commentary box running slowly, like I thought he maybe had been off the road, but this is huge drama. We talked about this being a series-defining weekend, and this might just have completely changed it. Work going on here, and the attention is on the left front there, so we ride with him here. Let's just see if... The onboard gives us some clarity. You can see him there trying desperately to pull the car up. It ventures off the circuit. It's obviously already blown at that point or damaged. Will Brown, he's the finisher of TCR. Final turn, big, big margin. He's going to chalk up another race win. Dylan O'Keefe there's got rolling again. He'll be 15th when he comes back around to finish his race. But it's Will Brown who picks up the win in race two at Winton Motor Raceway and extends that lead into the series. Big winning margin in the end. Let's get the front wheel spinning. Let's pull up those turbos and get them racing in a turn one. Can Jason Bright hold on? No, 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 no. What's going on here? The Volkswagen's not got going. Now he clears the zone. They managed to miss him on the run to turn one. That could have been disaster, but it's the Hyundai out in front. Will Brown under fire from Aaron Cameron up the hill from turn two. Cold visual and tyres, and Brown is covering. Look in the background. Jordan Cox is flying through the field. Ingles in the fight as well. He's third and trying to fill the gap. They work their way through turn four. Unbelievable start. One of the Hondas has dropped to the tail of the field. Boy, oh boy, what is going on? Jason Bright just did not get going. And end of lap one, the Elf is going for the move. Down the inside at turn one on Tony Delberto. He's got the job done. The Alpha is through. There he is. Oh, no, he's not. He's off the road. There's contact with Delberto. And 
Cox is in the grass. Was that the curse of the commentator? Seemed like it. Liam McAdam is up into position number five in his debut weekend. Here he is in the 97, little loose there as he fights with Nathan Morkham. Morkham in six, James Moffat to P7. Little bit of positivity, little bit of sugar in that Renault Megan. Seventh right now. Brown leading by 1.3 seconds over Aaron Cameron. There you go. Oh, it gets loose. The Golf GTI gets loose out of that corner. And that's all the incentive that Russell Ingle needs if he knows that Cameron's got a little bit of a struggle on. Blue the background, Leanne Tan to make him moves, the Audi and Andre Heimgartner, that's for position eight. Mark down the inside, bangs into the side of Alexandra Whitley on the way through. That was for 10th place. And now Riberitz tries to put the Astra in the gap. Brown leads 2.2 seconds back to Aaron Cameron. Then Russell Ingle, Delberto McAdam, there's Morgan, Moffat, Tander and Heimgartner here, Martin and Riberitz. Leanne covering off at turn three. Position eight, that's what they're fighting for in this little battle pack. Looks like Martin's Honda's okay after that contact with Alexandra Whitley. Trying to get the Astra up the inside, but he knows if he makes a move, he's vulnerable to the Honda. So the Astras are in the mix here, the two cars from Kelly Racing. Heimgartner around the outside on the Audi. That's a long way, but if he can keep the nose in, that's what he's done. He's gonna get that spot. Martin now trying to follow through. But Martin won't be ideally placed for turn 10. Little bit of hip and shoulder between Leanne Tander and John Martin. Tander hangs on to it. Nice work. Nathan Morecambe in sixth position, but it's his teammate leading the way with that fastest lap of the race. Crazy number, qualifying style pace. 124.37 from Will Brown and a 4.5 second advantage over Aaron Cameron. Can they catch the Toowoomba kid? I reckon the question, is that the answer is probably not, not from what yeah. he's done this weekend. It was amazing to think until yesterday he'd not taken a pole position so far this year. McAdam's off the road on the exit of the final turn and he has put it into the wall in the Audi. The left rear has bumped the concrete at the exit of turn 12 just when he was going so well in the top five. There he is and he's in drama. Emma's in the lane. Yeah guys, you'll see Jordan Cox is still stuck in pit lane. Broome Beasley, can you give us the update? Uh, look, uh, Jordan got a bit overzealous, but had a bit of a go at turn one and ended up in the grass backwards and he's filled the radiator intake with brass and now it's just got hot. So uh, while it's hot, it won't start. It's in limp mode, so we've just got to wait to cool it down and um, it is what it is now. He got going again. Morecambe, he's in 17th. Morecambe. Morecambe at turn one. What a move. That was aggressive stuff through one and I think Tony yielded. I think he saw that Morecambe had really committed there. Wild stuff, but the Hyundai driver gets it done. Side as they run down to the final two corners. Oh, lifting those rear wheels. Whitley hangs on to it, and I reckon Bright's there too. So Bright really pushing his GTI. This is an awesome battle. With the Renaults in the Alpha. This is the replay. Moffat makes a move. He's in the gap. Whitley just turns straight on in. Contact. And the Actron Air Golf is off the road. No one has been able to lay a glove on the I-30N. And the young Queensland has done the job. Final turn is coming up at Winton Motor Raceway in the car sales TCR Australia Series. Will Brown stamps his authority all over the field and picks up another win. Check it flag out, massive margin, and Brown wins at Winton. New lap record, 124.37 back on lap five. Daylight behind him, there's Aaron Cameron, well done. Second place.